everyone, today I'm doing a review on the Emma Hardy Cleansing Balm. I've had so many requests to do this video and also I've realised now that it's quite a popular product so I thought it would be quite useful for you guys to see what I think about it because I absolutely love this cleanser. It's my favourite one probably at the moment so I really wanted to do a review and tell you guys all about it. So yeah, if you want to see what I think, thank you for watching. So first I'll start with the packaging. I'll be honest, I'm not too keen on the packaging because it comes with a kind of screw lid and it's just... A bit tricky getting all the products out and also I feel like I'm getting my hands in it so I'm putting all the germs inside the actual pot. I think it would be a lot more hygienic if it was a pump and also I think it would be quite easier to use. You can really kind of control how much product you get out. But apart from that I like the packaging. I think it looks really pretty. It's got a gold kind of pot look and it just looks really fancy. So because it's a cleansing balm obviously it has that really oily thick consistency. I wouldn't say it's as thick as some other cleansers like for example the Eve Bomb Cleanser or you can get the one from Boots like their own natural organics brand. They also have a cleansing balm and those are a lot thicker, they're really kind of thick sticky consistencies whereas this I think it's a bit more oily than your standard balm cleanser and because of that it's a bit more runny and for that reason I think it's easier to use. It can really kind of, it's easier to spread it around the face as opposed to if it was a really thick kind of balm it's just it sticks to your skin it's a bit tricky moving it around whereas this because it is so oily I find it's quite easy to use. I find that it's really great at removing makeup because it's an oil based cleanser obviously if you're wearing any oil based makeup it's going to go against it and it's going to work together to remove the makeup and kind of break up all those oil particles so it's perfect for foundation for kind of cream or eyeshadow maybe not mascara I do find it not as good at removing mascara but then you probably should use a separate eye makeup remover it's just me that I'm I'm really lazy I don't like to use separate eye makeup removers but apart from that I would say everything apart from mascara it's really good at removing it so the way that I like to use it is I put a little bit on my hands into my dry hands and my face is dry I don't put water on it beforehand and I just massage it into the face and make sure I kind of work around let me put this down <laughs> so I just work it around kind of circular motions kind of massaging my face and I work it all the way around I probably spend about a minute just making sure all the makeup was dissolved I also also put it all the way around my eyes I don't mind I mean it doesn't really sting if it goes into the eyes you probably shouldn't use it in the eye area I mean most cleansers you probably shouldn't but I do it anyway so it's fine in the eye area unless you have super sensitive eyes or maybe you're wearing contacts then maybe be a bit more careful but for me it's absolutely fine so I just massage it all the way around my face and then I splash it with water, I remove it with water, and then I just take a cloth. You can use a proper muslin cloth, or I just use one of those cleansing wipes. I mean, it really doesn't matter, as long as it's some sort of material. So I just put that in some hot water, and I put it on my face, and I remove any residue, and it removes everything perfectly. And even if it is like a really oily formula, I find that I don't get any residue on my face at all. Just using some sort of cloth and hot water, I find that it removes everything from my face. In terms of skin types, I would say it's suitable for all skin types. So all the way from super oily and all the way to super dry, even sensitive, even if you have redness. It's a really calming and soothing formula, so I really can't imagine it aggravating your sensitive skin at all. So for oily skin, like for super oily skin, I would say you wouldn't even need to apply a moisturiser over the top after you used it. It's super moisturising, it leaves your skin so soft and hydrated, I really don't think you should apply a moisturiser after that. And then for normal to dry, just use your regular moisturiser. If you have normal skin, you can probably still get away with not putting anything on because it is such a hydrating formula. It just leaves your skin feeling so nice, you really don't feel like you need to put anything on. I also want to mention the smell. I think the smell is very natural and herbally and because it has all these plant extracts, it just... It just feels like a nice natural product so even I think if you are like if your skin is sensitive to fragrance it's probably sensitive to synthetic fragrance so I don't think you would have any problem with this obviously try beforehand make sure that you don't have an allergic reaction but it's just a really nice and natural scent I don't think it's offensive at all and it's not overly strong it's also great that you can use it as a mask so you can leave it on overnight obviously it's a very oily texture so make sure that you put a really thin layer and maybe put a towel on your pillow because it is going to go everywhere but it's a really great intensive hydrating treatment in the morning you'll wake up and your skin is going to be so hydrated and smooth and soft and radiant it's going to calm down any redness and it just makes your skin look so pretty and gorgeous so it's definitely a good kind of overnight mask treatment and I know some people also use it as a spot treatment even though it is that super oily texture you'd be surprised how well it works at 
calming down the redness once again in the spots and just helping them go away really quickly. So it's a really good multi-purpose product. So it retails at about 38 or I think it's somewhere around that price and you get how much is it? I think yeah it's 100 ml and I know that now they change the packaging so it's a bit more of a squished bottle and I think it actually looks bit bigger so it looks like you get more product but it's still the same 100 ml and I think it's obviously a more of a high end it's more of an expensive cleanser but I think it's worth it just because I've had this for absolute ages and it's still half full I mean it's going strong because you need such a small amount I would say like a hazelnut size and it's enough to cover your whole face and remove all the makeup so I definitely do think it's good value for money and that is it for my review I really hope it was useful for you guys let me know if you have any more questions in the comments below and let me know if you have this cleanser yourself and what are your thoughts about it leave a video response if you want to and I'll see you all in my next video bye